Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Mavic 3 Classic unveiled as affordable, capable sibling to top of the line. American Airlines Pilots Union reject contract proposal. Patriotic livery celebrates distinguished fighter jet. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Talent Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Mavic 3 Classic unveiled as affordable, capable sibling to top of the line. DJI has unveiled the Mavic 3 Classic. The Mavic 3 Classic boasts a 4.3 CMOS Hasselblad camera capable of shooting at 5.1K, 50fps, 4K, 60fps, and 1080p, 60fps using H.264 and H.265 encoders. Slow motion filming remains supported at 4K 120fps and 1080p 200fps. Its 24mm equivalent focal length lens opens to an adjustable aperture spanning f2.8 to f11 for 12.8 stops of native dynamic range, producing 12-bit RAW photography and 10-bit D-Log footage. All the color tuning and whiz-bang visual effects are there, just like the first Mavic 3 at least. Battery life should allow for 46 minutes of flight using the same batteries as the rest of the 3 Series. Similar commonality with the rest of the DJI lineup allows for use of all the same controls, apps, and accessories as the previous Mavic 3. Pricing for the Classic starts at around $1,500 for the solo drone, with the basic RCN1 controller adding another $1,600 to that or $1,750 for the advanced DJI RC controller. DJI has obtained remote ID approval just like the last entry of the Mavic series and has already obtained the world's first C1 Euro drone certificate for use in the A1 Open category. And after the break, Rotax publishes service instructions and new maintenance manual. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Rotax publishes service instructions and new maintenance manual. Rotax has published service instructions to modify Bing constant depression carburetors in Rotax 912 and 914 engines, with some 582s affected. That's not the only publication of note lately, with the manufacturer issuing a second revision of its maintenance manual heavy for Rotax engine type 912 and 914 series, updating its previous 2018 revision date. Rounding out the updates, the company released a new service instruction parts and accessories document 2, offering installers and operators a mounting kit for an optional AC-DC converter. SpaceX anticipates first Starship launch to reach orbit by 2023. A recent NASA Advisory Council meeting has revealed an early December target for the first orbital launch of the SpaceX Starship rocket system. The launch would be an important milestone in the company's efforts to fly NASA personnel to the moon under the Artemis program and beyond. The December mission will test the whole system for the first time, using the 230-foot Super Heavy booster to carry the smaller Starship spacecraft into orbit. The test flight would see the rocket take off and deliver an uncrewed Starship into orbit before re-entering the atmosphere off the Hawaiian coast for recovery and assessment. Mississippi State University Flight Lab welcomes formidable UAS. 
MSU's Raspit Flight Research Laboratory enjoys the distinction of being the only institution in the world contemporaneously designated as the FAA UAS Safety Research Facility and an official UAS test site for both the FAA and the DHS. In November 2022, it was announced that Raspit Flight Research Laboratory had acquired a newly designed, remotely piloted UAS called Terras. The vehicle, manufactured by Navmar Applied Sciences Corp. and deriving of Sonics Aerospace's manned Xenos B motor glider, is expected to be the first UAS of its kind to receive FAA-type certification. Royal Jordanian Air Force buys 10 Bell 505s. Bell Textron has sold 10 of its Bell 505 helicopters to the RJAF at the Special Operations Forces Exhibition and Conference in Aqaba, Jordan. The contract will include delivery of the aircraft alongside a comprehensive computer-based flight training package and flight training device for basic and advanced rotorcraft training. This year, the 13th annual SOFX proved to be a profitable trip for the company. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. American Airlines Pilots Union Reject Contract Proposal The Allied Pilots Association has rejected a contract proposal that would have secured American Airlines flight crew personnel nearly 20% in raises over the coming two years. The 15-5 vote by which the union's board rejected the airline's proposal instantiates the umbrage with which the airline industry is rife and speaks to the acrimony of a pilot workforce largely excluded from the record earnings racked up by air carriers during the post-COVID travel boom. In October 2022, American Airlines pilots tentatively agreed to a deal that promised them an across-the-board 12% pay raise on the date of the contract's approval, followed by raises of 5% in one year and 2% in two years. Notwithstanding an overall pay raise totaling just under 20% over two years, the proposal failed to address quality-of-life issues for which American pilots have long pushed. The APA's vote mirrored rejections of contract proposals by unions representing the pilots of Delta and United Airlines. Delta's pilots, who continue to work under pay and benefit provisions last negotiated in 2016, have voted to authorize a company-wide strike. United pilots conversely are making ready to stage a series of pickets across major U.S. airports. Pilots at Dallas-based Southwest Airlines remain mired in contract negotiations that have dragged on for well over two years. And after these messages, Patriotic Livery celebrates Distinguished Fighter Jet. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth-enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Patriotic Livery celebrates Distinguished Fighter Jet. The California Air National Guard's 144th Fighter Wing has unveiled a new F-15C paint scheme certain to be a hit with fans of freedom, fighter jets, and old glory. The livery, unveiled October 22nd, drapes red and white stripes across the upper and lower surfaces of the aircraft's wings, elevons, and a considerable swath of its amidships belly. The jet's engine inlets and forward fuselage, excepting its radome, are resplendent in a deep blue field punctuated with white stars, while its ventral midline, vertical stabilizer and rudder assemblies, and radome are painted a contrasting and aggressive matte black. The forward starboard and port fuselage sections at an arm corresponding with the pilot's position are bilaterally adorned with a stylized silhouette of a striking griffin. 
The 144th Fighter Wing's Facebook page declares, quote, that's tail flash number 113, which recently reached more than 10,000 flight hours. To celebrate, we painted the aircraft with the special paint scheme, end quote. In commemoration of tail flash number 113's 10,000 flight hours, the black expanse of its ventral speed brake sports a white triangular emblem encompassing characters spelling out 10K. Tail flash number 113's accumulation of such a high number of flight hours is a compelling testimonial to both the foresight and skill of the McDonnell Douglas Wizards by whom she was designed. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.